Hey, welcome back to Hot Dog Sports. We're glad to have you. On this video, we're going to prepare for opening day. Actually, it's for opening days. It's going to be on Thursday the 23rd and Friday the 24th. And what we're going to do is go through our team, take a look at where we are player-wise, and set everybody up for the first two days of baseball 2020. As we go to the introduction, please look down below. I'd love to have you subscribe and join us for the entire season. I am getting so excited. Opening day, July 23rd. We are preparing our roster. So let's go over the details of who we have playing and then we'll go over the details of opening day, July 24th. Looking at the schedule for July 23rd, opening day, we only have two games that impact our team. The first game is the Dodgers and the Giants, and we have Cody Bellinger, so he obviously will be starting. It looks like Cueto's the starter for the Giants. And then Adam Eaton with the Washington Nationals against the New York Yankees. It looks like Garrett Cole will be starting. And those are the only two position players we'll have playing. Let's take a look at the pitchers. With regards to our pitchers, uh, we have nobody starting. And in fact, our only pitcher is reliever, hopefully closer, uh, Sean Doolittle for the Washington Nationals against the Yankees. Makes the 23rd pretty easy. Well, the excitement is definitely going to be the 24th when almost everybody is playing. Opening day has been turned into two days to allow for a lot of fanfare. In case there's a need for a rain out, a game could be played on the alternate day so that fans could participate in opening day. That's obviously not the case this year. Historically, the Cincinnati Reds, the oldest team in baseball, were the first team and the team that opened the new regular season on opening day. So here is our opening day roster for July 24th. As you can see, everybody is playing that day except for Adam Eaton, who's with the Washington Nationals. They have the day off. I had to make some decisions about the players who did not play. As you can see, I have Mondesi on the bench. I could have had uh, bearing players on the bench, and I had moved Cody Bellinger to outfield and put Edwin and Carcion in at first base. So we'll see how that works. Uh, I can always change it if one of the players is not going to play, but we'll have to see what happens. So let's take a look at our starting pitchers now. On the pitching side, what a great day. We have four of our starters pitching. We got Shane Bieber pitching against the Kansas City Royals, Charlie Morton pitching against the Toronto Blue Jays, Chris Paddock pitching against the Arizona Diamondbacks, and Brandon, Brandon Woodruff against the Cubs. What a great test. And as you can see, I have Sean Doolittle on the bench. So everybody is available to play, and Sean, who also plays for the Washington Nationals, uh, will not be playing. There is one aspect of the league I want you to know about before we get started with the regular season. It's called the waiver order. What happens is, and I don't know if you remember this, but in the draft, we were the eighth and final pick of the draft. As a result, we were given the number one position in the waiver order, which means when somebody drops a player and their player is not a free agent yet, but on waivers, we have the first right to that player. As the season starts, particularly right at the beginning, Many of the teams, the managers, will look at their team and say, ah, I really don't want that guy. Or we have too many of this position and need to get rid of him and get rid of and pick up somebody else. So there's a number of players that become available pretty quick at the beginning of the regular season. We are in a great position to be able to take advantage of that should that occur. Before I let you go, I want to remind you that I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Please look down below, subscribe, and if you like this video, please give it a like. So I'm going to leave you with the most important thing about all of this. In the next two days, we're going to play ball!